Yeah. Our guys are pretty good. How pleased have you been with how far the defensive line has come? It seems like in the last month or so. I think our pass rush has improved. I think they've played well against the run all year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's two phases to it. Um, you know, Kenny Clark and Eddie have been dominant all year. It's nice to see Oa and uh, Dion really show up and tack in, in the pass rush game. Mm -hmm. you know, I've felt it really, like, like you said, really for the last four weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's important, you know. And those fourth quarter sacks are the ones that really matter. So it's good. And the pressures. Could you tell it made a big difference when you guys were able to move Oa inside and then have Tack outside? You mean on third down? Yeah. Uh, we don't do it all the time. We just do it every once in a while. So, uh, I mean, either way, I mean, a lot of Oa's plays have actually come from outside lately. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's just a way to get Tack on the field. You know, Tack's a dynamic pass rusher. He's a, actually a dynamic player. And he's really, you know, now he's starting to kind of settle in and learn how to play. Mm -hmm. And then I think that Oa is just kind of playing with a little bit more... Um, He's, just, he's, just, he's playing violent. I don't mean that to sound negative. He's just mm -hmm. cutting it loose more. So it's it's uh, it's impressive to watch what he's doing. Have you seen Kenny Young kind of come on in the last couple of weeks? No, he's come on the whole year. Kenny Young, the yeah. Oh, Kenny Clark. I thought you were talking about Kenny Clark. Kenny. Uh, well, he's getting more snaps. So when he gets more snaps, he's, a, he's an excellent football player. I mean, he's just a really good football player. And, uh, when we're in nickel. You know, he's Eric Kendrick's backup, and it's pretty hard to take Eric Kendrick's off the field, but when we go to our base stuff, he plays, and he plays well, and I think he had, I think he had 25 defensive snaps the other night, and he played well. It's just a matter of getting him the snaps. Was there kind of maybe a trial by fire for him right when the season started? Because he had such a good camp, and it seemed like it kind of faded a little bit. No, he didn't fade. He just didn't get as many snaps. It's all based on snaps, you know. He, like I said, he, he's not the starter in nickel. He's the starter in our base, and we weren't playing teams that put us in a lot of base defense. He's played well all year. He's been solid all year. Uh, you know, in camp, we can dictate by script how many plays we run of base and nickel. And uh, once the season starts, you know, that's kind of up to the offense that we're playing. We don't get to script their game for them. <laughs> so that's just why, why he didn't play as much. Looks like Isako was playing a little bit of fullback. Uh, how Ten that, snaps. Yeah, what went into that decision, and how do you think he did? He did really, really well. Um, he did it the week before as well against uh, whoever we played two weeks ago. Um, and he's a natural. You know, he can bend, and he moves laterally well. And You know, he played some running back in high school, and was pretty good. And, uh, you know, uh, we'll continue to, to claim over there. He actually played more snaps on offense than he did on defense this week. So... I think it's a natural position for him. We're not going to move him there, but he's another two-way player for us. Is that part of, I mean, it seems like he's played a lot of different roles this year, played a little inside back or a little on the end, a little bit of fullback. He just is a guy that will do anything to get on the field, and he's willing. You know, sometimes, I mean, in my past, I've been around players when you're, you know, a little hesitant to move, and I don't find that on this team, and I think he's, you know, really indicative of that. He just, you know, what can I do to help? I'll play inside. I'll play outside. I'll play defense. He's been playing a lot of defensive end for us, you know, on first and second down or on nickel. And then when we brought up the idea a couple weeks ago of playing fullback, he's, yeah, put me in. And then he plays on all the special teams, too. So he's getting his snaps, and he's doing well. How have you had to manage the carries for Paul? Is that something that you guys are constantly kind of looking out uh, for? Yeah, I mean, he, I think that uh, Kennedy does a really nice job of, you know, getting Nate in there and getting mm. uh, getting Jordan in there. And then we give Miles, you know, a few snaps a game. Mm. And uh, Paul takes really good care of his body during the week, you know. So uh, he, he hasn't really shown any indication of, of being worn out or worn down at all. Even, mm. you know, on a Tuesday he comes bounces back. I mean, I guess that's one of the great things about being 19 or 20 years old. Your body <laughs> bounces back pretty well. I wouldn't know. You know? <laughs> Mine doesn't. <laughs> How's Nate Sark's knee? He's going to be fine. Yeah, he's going to be good. What kind of impact mainly have you seen Kennedy have on those running backs this year? Um, Kennedy is a is a uh, tough, hard nosed, no nonsense, but very compassionate coach, mm -hmm. and uh, he draws the best out of them. I think that the probably the thing that for me is most noticeable is the way they pass protect. 
they really be, have become good pass protectors. You know, there's an art to that, and then there's a toughness to that, and he's brought both of those things out in him. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest thing to cultivate when you're trying to get a pass protector like that? Is it the toughness, or is it the technique? If you're not innately tough, it's going to be tough to stick your nose in there and, and front up a, line, a blitzing linebacker. Mm -hmm. Because they've got to run at you. And then, you know, everybody at times, defensive ends are getting blocked by backs. It, it depends on what protection you're in. So um, you better be innately tough. And uh, he just demands that of him and brings it out of him. You know, th it's in there somewhere. And they've mm -hmm. done a nice job of that. And then the technical part of it, I think you can learn. And I mm -hmm. think he does a great job with both, you know, teaching the technical part and, and drawing the toughness out. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, guys.